100 jams where hit music lives. Locked in the midday chop up right here with your girl Aaron Green. Got the boy Bohemian Train in the mix right there with Back in Time. Right about now, you know the time is 11 30 and it's all about Chat Trap. Letting you know what's happening in the media. And of course, I couldn't do this without inviting DJ Prussia in studio with me, man. Prussia, how you feeling today? Good morning. Uh, Sound like. Right. Yeah, a bit. A just, bit. just, right, a, just cool. a little that's bit. Good. That's good. That's good. So how's your day going so far? It's awesome, man. How was, how was your... No, I mean, okay, I ain't getting to that as yet. We can get into it right before we get into the big discussion today. But I'll let you know a bit on um, what's happening because some very heartbreaking news to hear that Nicki Minaj's father was killed at 64 years old in a hit-and-run accident in New York. And apparently he was walking across the road when he was struck by a vehicle that sped away from the scene without any eyewitness being able to give an accurate description. So that sounds a bit strange, but hopefully they're able to get to the bottom of it. But um, to more, I don't know, to more news right now, it's not looking so good in the year 2021. We really thought things was probably going to get a bit better. But right now, Haiti is monitoring monitoring an outbreak of a disease like scabies and scabies has been described as an itchy skin condition caused by a tiny borrowing mite called sarcoptes and intense itching occurs in the area when the mite burrows and scabies is contagious and can spread quickly through close physical contact so according to the ministry of health this skin disease has affected residents of several communities for several days and the government has a sought to assure the population that all stops will be pulled out in an effort to eradicate the disease so hopefully i'm hoping that you know haiti definitely deals with that situation because that is pretty big and of course i can travel over here at any given moment brush how you feeling about that I know scabies used to be like a school thing, like close to wingworm, right? Something like that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Correct, right? Yeah, you're huh? right. Uh -huh. right. Correct? All right. Yeah, so basically clean up yourself. Yeah. That's, 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 that's the best way to put it. Yeah, but still, man. I'm just hoping that things isn't, See, I don't you know, want to say too much because then it can sound offensive. Okay. You know what I mean? So uh -huh. I think it's more to deal with, like, more of the environment, health type vibe. And I, I, that's what I think. Yeah. So I'm, I can't say much about it, but that's well, what kinda, I'm kind of, honestly, kind of, it, it is that. But I'm just hoping that, you know, they're able to get that situation sorted out because you don't, you wouldn't want it to get anywhere. Seeing that this year already started off um, pretty rough, but right now what I want to get to talk about, but just before we jump into it, I want to ask you, how was your Valentine's weekend? Because I didn't talk about it with you yesterday intentionally, but I want to get in your uh, business. want to be a little bit nosy right now. So let me ask you, did you find your unicorn? <laughs> I find mine. You find a unicorn again. I find my unicorn again. Oh, you know the story for the unicorn. All right, so we're gonna leave it. <laughs> we're gonna leave it right there. So, Fresh just John said he basically he it was enjoyed. Awesome. Yeah, basically, it was awesome. He enjoyed his Valentine's weekend. Um, I saw, I saw the dice. So I hope everyone else out there definitely had a good time. And it was not all about how much you could spend on your woman. Yeah. It just was about the amount of love that you could show her that you have for her. In all honesty, and that's just my opinion in these on times it. Too, you know what I mean? Bang. Thing because so a lot of couples already broken, um, already have broken up, a lot of marriages already failed during the year 2020. But if you still got that person you're holding on to, man, just show them that you still care for them. See, that's but, why I said start mm -hmm. licensing marriage, have it on a five year lease. Oh, goodness, right? That's it. That's, a, that's your yeah. opinion on it. Everybody with principle up, <laughs> okay? But let me ask you this now because you know you saw all, all right. the fellas I'm spending on their woman. How many fellas you think in the Bahamas? A, a percentage mm -hmm. of fellas receive something from their woman, an actual yeah. gift, or you know, after they probably purchase something for her. First off, I can't talk for no fella but myself. Okay. I was straight. You were straight. I was straight, but uh -huh. to be honest, the behemoth woman me might be hard on them, like they always want, want, want. But yeah. Most of them is make sure they do it straight. Yeah. You know what I mean? To be honest. Okay. So I'll right. say eighty percent. 80% of them 80%. got something. Yeah. All right, so let's talk about this now. Let's get into this whole thing. What's going on with B. Simone? It just seems as though that she is continuously getting um, bashed in the media now. So just recently, um, well, this time I say I'm on her side. First of all, I'm going to start off with that. But she spoke about manifesting the man that you want. And she blatantly told women everything you look for, everything you want, everything you are searching for in a man. Make sure that you can also provide that yourself. So make sure, like, let's say, if you, if you want a man with a job, make sure you have a job. Mm -hmm. If you want a man who I'm um, fit, make sure you work out yourself. And basically, just anything that he does, make sure you do what you're, um, um, you got I'm, it going on for you, I'm too. Who waiting, who waiting on up because of that? Of course, women. So and women took the same Why, though? Yeah, hold up. Hold up. Hold <laughs> I up. I would know the why. Let me tell you the comments now, some of the women said. So, so at least one of the women, she said that ladies, um, 
Okay, hold on. Let me tell you what B. Simone said briefly. She said, ladies, we all have all these things we want in the mind, but we aren't those things. And, you know, sh but personally, a female um, who really, I guess, watches her a lot, she said that B. Simone really built her whole brand on women manifesting things, including the type of men they want in their life. And she screamed about it literally every day for a year. Now she done switched to ridiculing women for having certain standards. So that's one of the women she was not quite happy with, you know, what B. Simone had to say. And a lot of others took to social media just being completely confused. And, you know, so another one um, saying that I just know B. Simone isn't sitting up here trying to chastise women about their standards. Wasn't she just saying she didn't want a man with a 9 to 5? First off, every woman, every man should have a standard. Uh -huh. Everybody should have principles. That's yeah. one. Two, if you're in a relationship, that goes vice versa. I want my, I want my woman to be great. Because I feel I could be great the same way. And yeah. I want her push me into greatness. Uh -huh. So how they could hate on her because her she thing. said, females, if you want a king, build a king. Yeah. Don't get mad because you're sleeping with a baser. <laughs> that's what you want to sleep with. Yeah. So you, you know what I mean? Yeah. So you can't get mad at her. Yeah. She's just saying, what you want, you build it. Bang. But yeah. Because yeah. if you want, like you said, if you want a king, then be a queen. Correct. You know? You know? And then you won't be mad because the dude ain't working and this and that. Exactly. And he ain't doing this and that because you ain't manifested into him to do that. Well, you I see mean, what I'm well, I say that too, but she's more so just stating the fact that um, just be that. Like you say, you want a, you want a man who works, well then work. Mm -hmm. If you want a man who could um, take care of his own, well you got to be able to take care of you and provide for yourself. But you can't expect, like let's say, let's just say, just an example, to want to be too sensitive. I know these days everyone is just so sensitive, sensitive when you say certain things, man. But I'm just saying, if you, you're a female, you got three kids, you know, um, you're probably not with a baby father. and But you want a man with no kids. <laughs> To take work. care, to take care of you and a three year kids. kids. Not saying that you can't find it. Like she said, you got to manifest the man you want. That's what I'm saying. So uh -huh. watch you now. You got three kids. Yeah. A dude with no kids. Uh -huh. He decides to take on the responsibility of taking care of you and your kids. Uh huh. Right. So now it's your job to make him feel comfortable. Yeah. To build him. To always make him feel like a king. Like, buddy, I appreciate this. Yeah. You know what I mean? Even though you're working, but like. I could work too and try it, because nowadays females want to be equal with men, correct? Uh, it's in some, some, some ways. All right, and some, let's say with some, let's say. Definitely in the work field and pay. All right, when it comes so to they want to be equal. So if you want to be equal, uh -huh. I feel, all right, you need to do the same thing I'm doing too. Not to say you have to overexert yourself in doing it, but yeah. just show me that you can make our situation better the same way. Yeah. That's how I look at it. Well, I agree with it. I agree with it, honestly. But, you know, some, uh, uh, a lot of households, ain't nobody trying to go 50-50. I just saying. Uh, ain't, nobody, ain't nobody trying, even with relationships, ain't nobody trying to do the 50-50 thing. Right, we trying me, to do the 70-30. Let me show you this. Trying to get away right? a little 60-40 here and there. Watch out. Mm -hmm. Let's use biblical terms. Okay. The man goes out and work. I know I'm going to take care of the household. Uh-huh. Is it not 50-50? Think about it. Yeah. So when he come home, his household the, should be clean, he should have food, he should be straight. When he come home, he shouldn't just do nothing and out. Uh -huh. That's still 50-50. Yeah. When you go and get married, you know what they say? You don't but, be two, you become what? One. One. Okay. So isn't that 50 and 50? If I been, I know I passed grade one marks. Oh, goodness. 50 and 50 equals yeah. 100. Yeah. If I'm wrong, tell me wrong. Well, no question. You're, you're definitely right. It's just the fact that, um, you know, in this society today, a lot of persons just... We all would want to see it that way, but when it comes to actually putting the work in, no one wants to really put the work in to say, okay, 50-50. And everyone wants to, uh, I'm just saying, what the, what the music today is preaching to men and what music today is preaching to women, I'm just saying most of the artists behind the music aren't even, the live, aren't, aren't even living the way that they're preaching to others. Wait, remember so, the song with the song name? Uh, which song? I'll give you the moon, the stars, and all like that love song. Remember that, right? Not sure last night? Last night, okay. right? Last night, if you listen to that song, he'll give it a whole world. Uh -huh. And she but ain't that, giving nothing. She ain't giving nothing, but at the end of the day, he still wants to be comfortable when he gets to. Yeah. That's 50 50. Yeah. You know? Well, I'm just hoping that, you know. Let me ask you this. Oh, right? goodness. I like put you on the spot. Uh. Let's say now Aaron Reynolds is this multi talented, multi million dollar female. Uh huh. But you have a significant other. Mm hmm. Would you allow him to work? and just live off your money? No. Why? I mean, I, 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 don't, I wouldn't date a man like that, personally. 
That's just my opinion on I would not. At the end of the day, for me, if I'm working, I'm getting my own. Mm -hmm. We can still be one, but you still need to be working as a man. So, vice versa, let's turn it around now. Okay. Would you do it? No. I'm a kind of female. I, 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 I can't be a stay-at-home wife. I have to work. I have to have my own. Even if I'm you staying You hear what you're saying, though? What? Remember what we were talking about from the beginning part of this? Okay. Bring, bring, bring me you back. Bring me back. You have to manifest yeah. what you want. Which is true. So at the end of the day, you still bring uh -huh. in 50-50 to the yeah. table. Yeah. Well, I know I'm bringing 50-50. Definitely. I got to bring 50-50. So if I'm hardworking, I got to find a man who's hardworking. But what I would say, honestly, to me, might not be a little fair. I'm a kind of... I'm a little bit of a 60-40 person. No, we can still pump you. Yeah. Now. yeah. No, we can still make you feel because to me, women are fragile creatures. Not mm -hmm. in a way that they can't take care of themselves. Yeah. But they are fragile in a way where I spray. you have to massage to make them feel comfortable, make them feel loved. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So I can understand where you're coming from with that. But when you saying like they're in an empire, uh -huh. you gotta be in this together. Yeah. That's well, real. Well, I, I, I tell you this, well, which is true, like you said, but like I said, to me, I'm a bit of a 60-40 person sometimes, and I keep it um, true, very, very honest mm -hmm. right now. So it's like, uh, I'm striving. You know, you want certain, you want to accomplish certain things in life. Now, you might not reach there yet, but honestly, I want a man who's already on his way, who's already well on his way. So you want to help a dude get on his way? I'll help him. Like, you want to see, like, you want to see, like, and a dude be like, mm -hmm. you know what, I feel you have great potential. I can I, park you. Well, listen, I, I did that several times and it always turned out dirty. It's like, you know, they say in life, you, you ride for people so many times. You just ride and you ride and you hold people down. And then you reach in the end, you're like, no one's riding for you. So you turn around and you're like, you know what? I want someone to ride for me this time. All right, so experience costs you not to even fall at a track no more. Amen. Basically. Amen. All right, cool. I, so I, I can ride with that. Bang. So I say find someone to ride for you. But let me take it to Facebook Live real quick before we end this. So the girl, Janae, right here, man, she is saying, well, for sure, you can't ask for the world and you have step in yourself. And that's definitely not going to work. Now, my girl, Pauline, right here. Oh, man. Uh, I don't know if I should be sharing this, but she didn't say Valentine's Day done gone. And her friend then catch her mind cheating. That's her oh, friend, goodness. man, huh? <laughs> 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 All right, we're going to leave that right now. <laughs> That's it, man, for Chat Trap 1130, letting you know what's happening in the media. But, of course, like Brescia and say, man, be someone and say it. Same kind of mind you want. Just be able to bring that to the table. If you want the mind working, be able to work. If you got three kids and you don't want a mind with no kid, if he at least got one, two, mind, try to deal with it. I just saying. Yeah. You got whatever you're giving, you gotta be able to take as well, alright? All I can say is that push is mm -hmm. be a plus. Yeah. You know what I mean? When you got someone cheering for you and like pushing you to Amen. greatness, uh -huh. it's be awesome. You know what I mean? The world could be against you. Bang. If that one person who appreciate you pushing you, yeah, it's feel good. Exactly. And you I know? say, just a little bit of advice, man. The year 2021, if they ain't riding for you, don't ride for them. Easy. <laughs>